welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our August 11th fishing report for the Jersey Shore. As always, brought to you by Great Bay Marina uh, down in Mystic Island and Riptide Bait and Tackle in Brigantine. Well, it's good to have Craig back from vacation. It was a... Uh, it's going to be back, man. Yeah, it's gonna it was be tough back. last week. There yeah. were a lot of reports. Dude, so. oh my goodness. I'm on vacation. <laughs> my phone just constantly getting blown up with reports. It was nuts. Bro. All right, it's a good thing. It was, yes, keep it, was it up. Good. Keep <laughs> it up. But uh, it was just crazy. Yeah. Gl- glad to share the load this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry to leave you alone with all that. It's a lot of work for you. <laughs> All right, so real quick, we got our August largest fluke contest. Uh, right now, Josh Tomlinson, he still sits in the lead with his 27-inch, 7-pound, 14-ounce fluke. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to make a prediction. It might be outside the box. I, I think that's our winner right there. You think so? I, you I don't think, think so. anyone else can Now, get John bigger? Spiro did tell me he's going to make it, He's going to catch an 8-pounder this month. Oh, uh, well, that so would do it. It's just got to be bigger than 27 that, That's true. That's true, yeah. But he did say he's going to catch an 8-pounder. He's just waiting to find it. So, right. you know, as long as that fish Well, John, good, go so get it and send it into us. John's going to try back-to-back months here. But, uh, but uh, that being said, we also got some, uh, some merchandise here, as you guys can see. Uh, we go check out our store online. If you guys uh, are struggling with where to find the link for that, you guys can actually text us on our text line right here, uh, and we will send you the link over so you guys can get to the store easily. Uh, go get you guys uh, sell some uh, Jersey Boys merch. It's pretty nice. These are 50 SPF uh, shirts. Very nice material. Very comfortable. Uh, and also, for the month of August, for the remaining, remaining time we have in August, if you send us any report and we use it, uh, we will be sending you a Jersey Boys die cut sticker. The sticker looks very similar to this uh, logo right here. Uh, so get us in your reports, and if we use it, we will gladly send you out a sticker. Only one sticker per person, though. So that being said, let's get into the report. All right. We got Steve was out with his cousin, Ed. Uh, they were trolling in the Great Bay when they landed three stripers, two shorts, and this uh, 130-incher. Uh, they were using chartreuse uh, stretch 25. Um, and Billy Ackerman was out with his son, Kai, and his brother, Joey. They were fishing the Little Egg Reef. Uh, said the bite was slow, but Joey and Kai were able to land a couple keepers. They were using Pink Shine Gulp. Uh, and Carl Hartman was out Saturday morning fishing Island Beach State Park when he pulled in this nice keeper using Gulp. And uh, Captain Andy with Riptide Bait and Tackle shared this post of Tommy with his keeper he caught in the surf of Brigantine. Uh, Captain Andy also shared this picture of Jimbo uh, with his 44-inch mahi-mahi caught 15 miles off of Brigantine. It's pretty fish. That is pretty, isn't it? That's pretty fish. All right, we got Andrew Holland's dad. We're fishing pretty far north near the Atlantic Highlands. Uh, They were able to land three keeper fluke and one sea bass. Everything was caught on jigs with gulp, uh, gulp grubs with fluke belly strips. And Dan Massmini was fishing the jetty in Brigantine when he caught this nice 20-and-a-half-inch tog using green crabs. All right, we got Carl Chen. We're out with Tommy Benham, Bayside Dave, and Carl Hartman. They were fishing the Great Bay in the Hallgate Inlet. Carl said that the wind was up and the bite was down. Uh, but they were able to land uh, two keepers and a Spanish mackerel using pink shine and white gulp. Uh, then Carl Chen went out on LBI surf and was able to hook up with four fluke, one being uh, a keeper. And they were all caught in the same hole using pink shine gulp. Uh, then we have Bayside Dave who went out with Craig uh, Peruki. Craig, I'm really sorry for mentioning him up there, but he's got a great first name now. Uh, looking for some tog, they were fishing the Barnegat Inlet Jetty using some sand fleas during low tide. Uh, Dave was able to catch this 16 and a half inch tog on his second drop, and shortly thereafter, Craig was able to pull in a double uh, with one of them being a 16 and a half incher. However, the bite shut down shortly after that. Uh, they were both able to get out on the LBI surf uh, as well later in the week. They started out on the south end of the island and worked their way north. Uh, not much action until Craig pulled in this 18 inch keeper. Uh, they were able to land a few shorts, uh, ranging from 13 to 15 inches. They were all caught in a 5-inch white gulp swimming mullet. Dave said the surf was cold and the water volume was down, but he's still holding out hope that the wind will shift and start bringing in the bait fish and warmer water. Uh, then we have Tommy Venom, who got out on the Great Bay for a quick trip and was able to land one keeper and said the greenheads were so bad, he couldn't stand there for much more than an hour. So if you're heading out, make sure that you take your bug spray and seriously consider wearing a suit of armor because I think that's the only way you can stop him from biting you. You know, that's his second report Green has been back second, in two weeks. I know, I know. And, and listen, we're actually going out this Saturday evening. Uh, we're taking the whole crew out. You might, you might want to clear out the bay. Uh, but we're taking all the boys. Uh, we're going to go clamming. <laughs> going clamming. So we'll maybe be swatting Green Heads more than, than catching clams, but we're going to have fun. So if you guys are out there on Saturday night, Look for us and a big uh, platoon of crazy kids. Uh, We'll be out there. But uh, good luck, everybody. We'll see you next week. All right. Good luck, guys.